Every week, I pick a good friend of mine and I take them out for lunch. I tell them that we can go wherever they want, just as long as it's not too expensive. I'm Tommy Dasilo, and this is Cheap Lunch. Yellowbird is a long-term fixture of my hungover Sundays, and today I'm heading in there to catch up with the man in charge, Clint Hindman. Clint is already well known as the drummer in Something for Kate, and with Yellowbird, he's crafted a menu that reflects his 15 plus years of eating on the road. Is there anything that sticks out? Any great meals that you've had in the in the process of touring? Really great meals. I think like just the good stock standard meal is the uh, ham, cheese, tomato, toasty. Yep. You know, it, it's just getting the uh, variations on that. Wherever you go, like you travel regional and you you know you're on the um, up the coast of Queensland and you just get different interpretations of what a ham, cheese, tomato, ham and toasty. cheese. You yep. think it, you think it's just a solid meal? You can't stuff it up, but. In different ways I've seen that come out. Mm. It's quite odd. We've got a toasty on our menu here, the classic toasty, which yep. is a ham cheese tomato. And yep. I pride myself on the guys getting it right. Is that, so that's inspired by 15 years on the road with something for Kate. You've yeah. boiled down the essential elements of the ham and cheese toasty. Exactly. I love it. Yeah. I love so, it. you know, it's the classic toasty here. And look, it's probably five times the price here compared yeah. to what it is up in <laughs> Queensland, but it's quality. But they don't know. Did you used to live in a milk bar? I was brought up in milk bars for, oh geez, my parents had them for at least 18 years. Yeah, that's great because I, like, I have a fantasy about, you know, living in a milk bar and just go in there anytime I want and just eat whatever I want off the shelves and mm. stuff like that. Forgive me for saying this, but were you a fat kid? Because I would have had no control. If my I was nickname was uh, Podge at school. <laughs> right. Yeah, no, I was a fat kid. Definitely. I'm one yep. of those. I'm still, still quite large, nah, I suppose. Keep fit. The beard hides a lot yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah. I'm, Got the same thing going on. Yeah. Yeah. I used to, I used to, I remember because I'd walk through the back of the milk bar to the house and all the confectionery and everything was there. So I'd be going Mars bar, crunchy, chomps, chomps were my thing, you chomps, know. Like yeah. I used to have them under my pillow, but yep. I ate so much chocolate. Even now, yep. one funny thing, which is quite cool, but our corgi, Mindy, basically was addicted to um, Mentos, Mentos, and Choc Buds. She lived for 17 years. This is your dog, your corgi, family dog. Family dog. That's amazing. We're addicted to confectionery. We're addicted to you confectionery. do not give a dog chocolate, apparently. Yeah. Our dog lived on it. It's yeah. amazing. Your childhood bedroom is now a bottle shop. It was a bottle shop. Now, I think last I saw, it's a waxing salon. <laughs> like, uh, uh, you know, uh, this kind of thing with Rosebud, you know. Yeah. I, I love the town more than anything, and but shops don't last more than you know six months at a time. It's mm. like six months on, six months off. And the last I saw when I was down there, it was a waxing salon. So, uh, quite funny. Natural progression. Because I was going to say, you could have tried it on like going back into the bottle shop and just going, oh, this used to be my bedroom. And <laughs> I just remember I just left a couple of things over there and just walk out with a slab. <laughs> so this is something else I read, something for Kate. When you started out, your name was Fish of the Day. Is that right? It was one of the, t was one of the names. We had Pregnant, El Presidente, and Fish of the Day, and something for Kate. And I think, uh, I still don't know if we got it right. I reckon you did. What was the, one, the first one? Pregnant? Pregnant. That was it. That was what we were going to be called. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> I don't think we would have had a 20 year career with that name. Yeah. But. I don't think you would have had a 20 minute career. <laughs> Please welcome to the stage, Pregnant. Oh, Pregnant boo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had one, um, one funny experience with that band name was a mate of mine who, you know, he's obviously an avid reader of Playboy. He brings it around and he's like, check out this one, Clint. And I'm like, open up and it's a spread. And, girl spread across the page but the the, the title of the story because her name is Kate was something for Kate right oh is it <laughs> and then you're looking closer and going I reckon that would have gotten done in the waxing salon that used yeah. to be my bedroom <laughs> <laughs> do you find it hard to like you know come in like you tattoos and your flanny and come in and crack the whip and go come on guys we've still got to give 110 percent do you know what i mean do you feel like that's at, at all yeah, at odds with the the cool guy image yeah it's pretty hard yeah. it's pretty hard because when you you know like i've had to obviously um fire a lot of people from here right. and i've had to fire quite a few people who have been fans of the band yeah. who i've <laughs> since found out who have worked here and it's just like oh that's not good these days you know we've, we've been around for a long time and we're it's a bit older so a lot of the newer guys and girls that work here don't know about the band anyway paul came in here for lunch the yep. other day caught up with him said hi paul rings me about an hour later he goes i think one of your waitresses doesn't know that you're in something great i'm like what do you mean he goes well she just tweeted something about 
Paul Dempsey just came into my work and he's really <laughs> lovely. And blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so so I've, I've, I've kind of gone to some of the staff rooms. I'm like, look, I don't usually do this, but can you, can you suss out whether she knows who I am? Because you know? <laughs> I don't think she knows right. who her boss is. A week later, she left. Right. She quit. So I, oh, I, I thought you were going to say you was... sacked her for not knowing who no, you I were. No, I didn't sack her. <laughs> That's the thing. I think she might have just left of embarrassment. Just to have a kind of a big finale moment for the series, is there any chance you could rip this bill up into camera for Sure. Me? Yep. Just give us this moment. Just down into that one. Just really tear it in half. That is the stuff. Yes, this is the best day of my life.